Welcome to the channel for the first time viewers. Welcome back for my existing subscribers. This uh, request came from the community. Somebody wanted to see 1080p because they have a 360 hertz monitor. They wanted to see if uh, RTX 4090 is going to max out that monitor. Now, my advice is that, you know, barring, uh, it's tough to recommend the 6950 XT, but I don't think it has any problems in Vanguard. I never personally had stuttering or hiccup issues inside of Vanguard, so... I would say if you're trying to play competitive Call of Duty, and I definitely didn't have issues with Modern Warfare 2, that might be a better choice for a 1080p closer to 360 hertz experience versus spending 1600. I saw one of those cards for I think it was $700 the other day, or 7.99, whatever the case might have been, right? So that would probably be a better choice overall versus trying to spend 1600 on this, right? So you can upgrade a lot of different components in your platform. Get that graphics card and be all set now if you are i in the 4090 um for that you know again that's just my advice um a lot of the reviewers said you know this is not uh they even said it's not even for 1440p it's really it truly is a 4k card right so the way i like to look at it is what the rtx series did for 1440p when it came out with 2000 it made it so that you can get high frame rate um high quality 1440p gameplay and it wasn't just relegated to 1080p right so that is what this 4000 series i feel has done for 4k now it's not just if you want to get 165 180 frames you don't have to play at 1440p anymore um you can go ahead and just upgrade to 4k now another thing i want to say is that you know i play at 1440p 240 hertz there is something to be said, even though I'm CPU bottlenecked, to be maxing out my monitor's 270 you know, hertz refresh rate. So even if I go past it, I'm cool with that. But a lot of times, you know, it was just underneath it, especially with the NVIDIA cards. When it came to Call of Duty, definitely wasn't getting that. But when it came to AMD, you know, I did. This is not anything new. I'm not in new territory when it comes to, like, getting 300 plus FPS um, in a game. But... It is nice to see with, you know, shadow play and everything, even though shadow play has been kind of weird lately with the um, with the audio. It's been having a little bit of delay, like a gunshot will go off visually and the sound will go off either a second before or a second after. So it's it's just weird things like that. But anyways, I digress. Um, yeah, to answer the question and then cut out, and let you watch the rest of the benchmark. By the way, this is this is just god awful. <laughs> this was uh, I think I was like one one KD on this one. It was uh, it was a rough go at it. A lot of people just uh, like that. Like that happened a lot. People just sliding under my gun and slapping me in the mouth. So again, the last thing I want to say. Let me just, let me gather my thoughts real quick. If you want to get this graphics card for 1080p 360 hertz. You can see that I'm in the 60% utilization uh, the whole time. The entire time, you know, I'm 65 and down, right? And that's not really what you want from your experience. If we had really, really fast CPUs, like let's say a 8950X or even a 7950X 3D or something just faster, uh, significantly faster at that, then it would push um these cards to be at maybe 500 fps or 600 fps i'm also using ddr5 so that's another thing if you had a 12900k with you know ddr4 if that mattered a little bit more i don't know what i found is that whenever i launched my 12900k i got less on my lows and my highs were right about the same as when i was using the 7950x so to me, it wasn't like a oh my goodness, this is uh this is so much better because of my 34 uh, 37 33 C14 RAM, right? That's just my experience. Um, I know some people, uh, specifically Frame Chasers, has just he's just better at RAM overclocking than me. We'll just call it what it is. Like I've I've never been able to get 41 33 stable period unless I went to some crazy timings. But he's got C15 going and he gets a really good turnout for. Um, for his for his uh performance now for me with the 7950x all i do xmp um put on that precision boost uh negative offset and now i'm ready to play the game so it was very very little work um and i'm not even using expo kit i'm using an intel kit so it was ready for intel xmp and again i just don't really i think that's all marketing speak so as long as it fires up your profiles i think you're good um but yeah that's all i got i'm cut out i'll catch you on the flip bz
Enemy running recon. They got eyes in the sky.
They're sending border shells! Cut it off! 